Good evening. Yes. Doing well, thanks. I'm sure you know these guys already. Yeah. We'll introduce ourselves. Yeah. I'm Art Edgerton from uh, Public Conservation Commission and also the Air and Fisheries Commission. Yeah. And also Pembroke Town News. <laughs> Wow. Looking for another job, sir? Yeah. <laughs> Clark, Conservation Agent and Commission Member. And I'm uh, Mark Sotir, and I'm the Chairman of the Conservation. So, uh, so thanks for having us, uh, first Thank of all. And, uh, yeah, so, you know, the last uh, two folks that, uh, you know, came in front of you, uh, they kind of stole the thunder. I mean, that was kind of the purpose <laughs> of us coming here, you know, to open up communication. It was that's great to hear. Great. That's and, great. And that's why we're here. You know, I think uh, we, uh, you know, there's two reasons we're here. One was that, and the other was London, the mother sport planting. And, uh, you know, we've rectified that. We've done the plantings therein. Uh, Bill's seen them. They are, you know, up I, I actually took some pictures of them uh, today. They, they actually replaced um, more trees than what was um, Originally approved. Yep. Uh, we approved uh, last month uh, six trees to be replanted, and they actually put in nine. Yeah, over there last night. Too. Is that because of, they were not put in place? They were supposed to put it in the first place. Yeah, actually, well, there was there was a little there was, there was a, a hiccup on that one. There was right? a hiccup on that one, and uh, they agreed to put in three more, and they, okay. they actually did that. So, so thank you. We uh, decided to take that path of least resistance. Yeah. Yeah. And again, the goal of this is to just put all this behind us and, and yeah. moving forward yeah. to you know have that open line of communications and, and work together sure. and uh, you know understand what each other's doing. And yeah. I think uh, again, your last two uh, folks. Uh, yeah, we wrote that perfectly, and uh, yeah, I would just be redundant in saying saying more about it. But uh, we're on the same page with that, and uh, we just want a good working relationship with uh, with you folks and, and vice versa. I'm sure. So yeah, so are you already doing the agenda sharing there as well? We're starting. You start, yeah. yeah, I think that's great. No, idea. I haven't gotten anybody else's. Have you talked to Rachel about that? Um, I sent her Oz. I okay. Yeah. Well, uh, I think that's a great idea. And we'll we'll yeah. certainly put that in place. Uh, it's it's a simple thing to do. And, yep, uh, yeah, it's we'll a great. Yeah. That, and I know that way you know what's going on with us, and we know what's going on with you. Yeah, and it's and it's important. I think uh, you know what the last gentleman said. I think a lot of people you know just don't know. Don't know. They need yeah. to come in front of you, and yeah. uh, you know, quite honestly, uh, until a few weeks ago, uh, neither did I. Yeah. yeah. Well, so, so and, it's an education and, process. And I don't know if you heard John say I mean, we had a situation where a conservation agent had a completely different understanding of what they were able to do or I'm not able to do I mean, I mean, it, it's it's tough. I live in Hanover and uh, I, I've been on a bunch of uh, you know the boards. I was the chair of the finance committee so I know a lot of people in town and this person got into conservation and uh, I'm gonna say it was probably uh, uh, maybe a communication uh, you know uh, question there but a, a lot of these things, if, if we understand what we're all trying to do, it's much easier versus, you know, someone's giving bad information, they follow through. Like you say, you know, people think, hey, if I talk to conservation and I do what they say, I'm, I'm, I'm probably okay. But, uh, you know, I, we, obviously we want to come in front of the North River Commission when appropriate, as well as go with conservation. And same thing with us. I mean, uh, we can't just say, hey, it's okay just to go to North River Commission and forget about conservation. You know, don't listen to those guys. So I, I think just working together uh, is going to help all of us, you know. Because uh, people get really upset when they think they have the process uh, complete and find out, well, I, now I have to go to conservation or I have to go to North River Commission. Well, why don't these guys all talk together? Right. Right. We said we had that uh, years ago. Um, when um, I went in to put an addition on my house in Pembroke, and I went in and I said, oh, did, did you go to uh, this board? And I, no, I didn't know I had to go to that board. And then you go to that board and you come back and you say, oh, did you go to this board? And, you know, it just kept going like that. You yeah, know? And yeah. I was like, geez, you know, why don't we have a master sheet somewhere that says, this is what you got to do in order to get this approved, <laughs> which makes sense. And right, I do right, that right. now, you know, right. which, which is good. So the question came up, is there some sort of regional regional type meeting buildings? You said something about maybe that Norwell had hosted something once. And is that anything that you're aware of? It's nothing that I don't think we're aware of. But yeah. I, I think we certainly probably would see the value yeah. in that and, and in knowing the other yeah. folks in the neighborhood. The conservation agents, per se, yeah. have a m monthly meeting usually somewhere around the area. I 
here and there. It's not a formal organization yeah, sure. get together and sometimes bring in specialized speakers or something. But, uh, yeah, it's even in the fisheries part of it, which I'm also involved in the fisheries, and, and uh, in that part of it, they they actually have meetings of the wardens uh, at least once a year. Um, and everywhere in the Commonwealth that has a fisheries that has to do with herring and stuff, meet. And, um, and they bring in biologists and, you know, and all the people from the division bring fisheries and all that other stuff. And you can just learn so much from these people who are so educated. Um, which uh, I try to make all of them. And we actually, um, I don't think it was last year, it was the year before last, we sponsored one in Pembroke at the library. Mm -hmm. And we invited everybody in to see what Pembroke was all about. So, it, you know, it kind of helps that, that you have these contacts, mm -hmm. you know, with people all over the place that are doing the same job you're doing. So, if you if you need an answer to something, sometimes you just pick up the phone yeah. and call, and, and instead of trying to reinvent the wheel, it's, you know, it's already, it's already there, so, um, yeah, it works pretty good. I think the, you know, the agent and the admin and network might be a little tighter because obviously that's what they're doing, you know, right. the rest of us are, yeah. you know, part-time yeah. volunteers, so it's a little tougher, but, uh, yeah. you know, I, I think it's, you know, obviously it's a great idea for everybody to get on the same page, and, yeah. and again, that's why we're, we're here tonight, uh, you know, somewhat of a, a via culpa for the, you know, confusion and down there a lot of lot of sport yeah. and uh, you know it just goes forward that uh, you know I, mm -hmm. I just think we're all committed to working together certainly not sending surrogates in front of you to you know to do what we should be doing and uh, you know if there's something to be handled we'll handle it directly. Yeah. You know which I think was part of the confusion on that last it was I think just a number of things combined. Just well it's not course. just that, I mean it just like uh, you know touching up the dam. Uh, I, I know uh, we learned in the last couple months I, I live in Hanover that, you know, Hanover wasn't really coming in front of the North River Commission, even though, you know, they're doing what they're supposed to in terms of repairing the dam, but that's also, you know, part of what needs to happen. So, you know, it's obviously we need to do a better job yeah. of communicating um, with all the towns. I, I'm just wondering if we do something, you know, it would seem to me that uh, Samantha Woods with North and South River Watershed would be the perfect host maybe once a year, have, having, having uh, I don't know, just like a general meeting um, where people just get together and it could be, if you think about each of, um, you know, each town's commission is probably five to seven people right, on conservation and then a conservation agent and our group, we have what, about uh, 12 people yeah, that everybody, you know, yeah. you know is, is able to make it and um, Obviously, Samantha Woods with North and South River, and like Bill said, uh, a lot of the you know the fisheries and the other uh, yeah. some of the other watersheds, you know Jones Rivers, etc. You, you meet people as time goes by, but uh, you know I know Bill's been involved in a lot of a lot of things where you're probably meeting a lot of people the last couple of years. We're like, hey, why did I meet this person? You know, five or ten years ago, they're saying the same thing about you because yeah. uh, they know what you're trying to do, but they just don't know who to talk to. It could go a long way because I mean we don't know what's going to happen in the future in terms of each of the communities having a problem, having an issue, and having a resource. You know, if, if you had experience with something in, in Pembroke and Norwell needs some help, you know, you already have that experience and you could leverage that. Yeah, we reached out when um, and and Mac was a was a big help too about uh, fish kill on Silver Lake and uh, and. Just a telephone call to say, "Geez, this is what I saw. This is what's going on," and um, and then you communicate with the other people that are on the lake and say, "What's going on? And what's happening?" And uh, a lot of things that we didn't know about. So that helps quite a bit. And then we reached out to Samantha, and um, and she really uh, got things, you know, rolling right along. And uh, big petition went up, and uh, next thing you know, the legislature is involved in it and all that. And, uh, and Brockton came up with the money to, you know, to put in screening and all that, which was about forty-two thousand dollars, and uh, and replace the screening, which should have been done years ago. Right, and, right. And it was done because everybody was working together. Yeah, it's a great example. Yeah, we yeah. started together, and that was, you know, that was yeah. perfect. We yeah. you know, converged on them, and uh, you know, they. I don't think they would have done that if it was just one no. of the voices talking. Mm -hmm. 
No, because even the Division of Marine Fisheries was saying that they've been pounding on for the last five years, five or six years, and these wouldn't get anywhere. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so we opened up line of communications with them and, and um, you know, tried to work with them about different things. And, and they did work with us quite a bit and uh, helped things out. Uh, because when we made observations that something was wrong and we called them, they shut their plane right down and stuff so that, you know, that they weren't doing it anymore. Which was a big thing. It's never happened years ago. Right, right. So it's it's uh, it's you know it's working all fine, and that's the whole thing. It's just bringing the environment back and the fish back and the birds and everything else. It just it's it's just amazing to see all the life now that uh, hasn't been there that's coming back. It's uh, really good to see that. Even on the river, it's, you know the uh, ospreys and I mean every time I go out on a boat now on the river, it's ospreys, eagles. Uh, or whatever all along the river, which is, you know, we didn't see that quite a few years ago, so. Uh, I'm really glad you guys came up tonight. Yeah, yeah, thank you very much. Sorry, yeah. sorry to keep you waiting, that's okay. Yeah, yeah. But I, I mean, maybe it's an FYI that up in the limbs, for the whole upper part of the river, Pembroke along with Wildlands Trust and Hanson and Hanover Conservation have applied for a, a loan by from the state, yeah. and it appears that it's going to be coming through. We have, we're not supposed to be announcing anything yet, but the letters in the last few weeks have said that funds are there and will be appropriated shortly. And that's for a walking trail up one side of the North River and down the other side uh, and I back so. to the bottom mm -hmm. And so we haven't come before you before because we no, it's still when you see the money, then you know and you've you know got it. They definitely will be coming before you with that project. So is that, does that mean a boardwalk for ADA or what, what will, or is it really a trail? I was going to say, because there really are, there are trails on both sides, so it's improvement. <coughs> Just the improvement of that, the trail both signage and, and all, all of that. Wildlands Trust is... Because you see the little wildland trust yeah. as you walk oh, down yeah, the There's, right. there's uh, kiosks and, and all mm -hmm. of the things that go with it. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Good job. Yeah. Well, actually, Cumberland gave what, hundred thousand dollars to Cumberland for the um, bridge improvements. Down. So that was for the last time meeting. So they spent some money down. Yeah, I know they're working jointly on that. Yeah. yeah, it's good to see that collaboration too. Yeah. yeah. Is there any issue still outstanding with the, the river project down there with the trees and so forth? No, it's, yeah. not that I know of. But everything was approved at last month's meeting. And um, the trees, the six trees are supposed to be planted. A couple of them didn't get in the right place, so I made a suggestion to Bob and the town uh, administrator that you know maybe either we put in a few more trees or or you know move a couple of the other trees that were there back to where the trees were cut. And uh, as far as we're concerned, I'm happy as a clam that, that everything is done here and it's um, there. And you know, the thing we need to do is make sure they get watered. That's all. Yeah. Yeah, we just look forward to closing yeah. and knock out on the whole issue and put yeah. it behind the table yeah. before. So. Yeah. And the only um, the only other thing that was up was a while ago was about the um, about the stuff that was oozing out of the the land across the street from there. And I talked to DDP, and I don't know if you guys know that, but and I brought that up to the board the last time was, was that I talked to DDP, uh, Mr. Hellman, there, and uh, he sent me back an email and said that. As far as he was concerned, that, that um, any toxins that were in there over 100 years ago have, have probably already leached out. Um, but he said that there is, um, if the town wanted to do that, not that they were required to do that, because usually they don't do that unless they're building something, you know, and then they go in and do a land survey or whatever. So they usually don't do that, but it's like a thousand dollars for every sample that they go in and do a sample or something. And, uh, he said that he didn't see any need for it, but um, so we did see the stuff coming up out of the ground. Yeah, yeah. but it's, uh, I'm sure that's all rubber stuff. And he said that actually you could go in there and dig it all out and bring it down to the town dump it to the town recycling center and put it down there with the rest of the stuff. But he did he didn't think where it was 100 years old that it was a uh, that it was a big issue there. But um, you know if the town wants to spend several thousand dollars to check it to see. 
what it is. I mean, I suppose they probably could do that, but right now we don't have very much money for anything down there. So, mm -hmm. um, but Samantha was on the North South River was also involved in that, and um, and she spearheaded a lot of stuff to get things rolling on that, just to just to see if we could find somebody that would do that, and uh, maybe she'll find some money somewhere for it, just to check it to make sure. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. money for the samples is one thing. If there was something there, finding that money is all about the story. Yeah, I mean, it's just yeah, we'll probably watching. the town would be, you know, pretty much punished for something that took place a hundred years right. ago. And uh, uh, so... Tread carefully on that one. Again, if somebody complains, you can't turn your head and look the other way. Yeah. You know, you have to look at it and say, what is it? And, you know, try to get it straightened out. So. Is that is that does that back up to private land or is it town land? Up? It's, it's conservation land. It's, it's town land. Yeah. Yeah, uh, you guys. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so when you get some extra money, you can get some <laughs> extra <laughs> But uh, yeah, you guys have anything else? Uh, you know, again, just thanks again. Yeah, 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 folks, really. Just, yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. And we want to make sure that uh, Rachel communicates mm -hmm. with you on the agenda. I think that's a great idea. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah. All right. Thank you so Keep much. Keep up the good work. Yeah, thanks. Yeah, yeah, appreciate it.